We're not a singular genre. When you watch the show, the series is going to progress into so many different avenues. You've got uh, the Dick Grayson aspect, which is just a classic superhero story, which is awesome because, like, he's so great. Brenton's amazing, and he's an amazing actor. And then you've got the, like, the oddities comedy almost sort of thing with Beast Boy and the Doom Patrol, which was fun to play, so there's that contrast. And then you've also got the sci-fi element with Starfire. She doesn't know who she is, but she knows she's not from this world. And then you've got the horror aspect with Raven, who's got this terrifying power and this inner demon. Part of that was to do with the, the, the darkness and the tone, so I feel like uh, visually it's going to feel like um, you know, kind of a, a drama, horror movie. Not to knock any other show, you know, um, I, th but there's like a gritty raw, there's no glossy glow to this show. We made some episodes that, uh, that touch on subjects that I think most people don't expect us to talk about as superheroes. We get to um, take more risks, go a little deeper, go a little darker, a little edgier, a little more grown up than any other superhero show you've ever seen. We're definitely not safe. Um, we definitely take a lot of risk, be it with the fight scenes or with the storylines. And it's Titans. It's something so many people grew up with, and this is the first time it's being brought to life with people in fight. It's a story about a group of disparate, kind of broken individuals who find completion in a, in a family and find themselves together. Like, I love the Marvel Netflix shows. They're very, very grounded. I love the DC shows. They're more you know, superhero-y, and we wanted to find that balance in between where we, we were a grounded show, we were more of an emotionally character-driven show and a slower rollout show, but at the same time, we didn't want to not do superheroes. We wanted to still make it superheroes. It's about superheroes.